creative solutions that can come into play when we talk about uh, when we talk about all of those factors. Um, you know, one example comes to mind for uh, we had a family a few a few months ago and the father moved for a better position, but he needed to do some training before he got to that position and he had to fly to, you know, I think US for about a year and a half. Mm. So then he proposed that, you know, the change of the plan and we talked about it because that actually benefited the whole entire family because his increase in income that he would have benefited for, it would have benefited the child and the, the, the family as a whole. So that was an important, you know, discussion about the, the needs of the child, the interests of the parties, and how is that actually going to benefit them long term, which it did, right? So the, in, in the mm -hmm. end, the family did find a different plan to make sure that the child will still see both parents, uh, looked a little bit different, but with the foundation that now we are creating even a better future for our family, for our separated family nonetheless, but a better future, financial future. Eva, do you have anything to add to that? Um... Sure, certainly. You know, I think um, oftentimes when families are thinking about relocation or they're reading about it online, they think that they can't relocate. And I think Laura expressed it very well, that you can relocate. You just have to go through the process the right way, mm -hmm. right? Especially when we're talking about the Hague Convention. And if you don't do it the right way, a court, wherever you land, can force you back right so you can go about it the right way and mediation can be a process whereby the family comes up with a new parenting arrangement that meets the needs of the children and both parents